All right, Rob Blake with the Kings. Um, first question. Do you really think you were better than the Blackhawks last year as a Chicagoan and a huge Blackhawk fan? Oh, uh, yeah. I was disappointed in the outcome. Oh, for sure we were better, right? <laughs> you uh, were. That might have been the best series I've, had, I've watched in a long time, you know, back and forth. Game 7 was amazing, but, uh, you know, fortunately for us, we got that last bounce. So. Yeah, you know, and I, I'm so happy for you. Obviously, you know, I've watched a lot of your hockey. You're going into the Hall of Fame. You're, you're in management now with the Kings. I mean, you've got to just be living the dream at this point. No, it's great. Like I said, uh, you know, you're fortunate to play a game that you love for so many years, and then when you retire, you're allowed back in it, and, and you get to talk and uh, be around the hockey for, the, for your whole time. It's what we've known, and, you know, very fortunate to be where we are today. Well, you don't look a day over your rookie year. I mean, you, <laughs> yeah. you look fantastic. Uh, it, it, life must be good. I mean, what are you what are you doing to occupy yourself? California lifestyle. Yeah, exactly. Well, I looked at Huntington Beach for 10 years. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. No, uh, no we were yeah, <laughs> far from that age of 20, but uh, that's why we only put this stuff on once in a while. Absolutely. And obviously, you know, you're here with Luke Robitaille, yep. and this is a, another icon of that franchise. Yep. How good is it to be around guys like, well, Rob Blake, yep. Luke Robitaille, guys that are so good for the organization? Yeah, you know, and that's the one thing Luke's really put a lot of emphasis in, is it, uh, including the alumni from the Kings and, and uh, trying to build that foundation of that, the, the whole organization. You know, we're, we're fortunate. We have a winning organization now, two cups in three years and that. But they've included all the alumni and players from the past yeah. in, in that group. So, And I think it's important. How healthy do you think the NHL is right now? It's good. I mean, uh, you, you go to these games and you watch the talent level by far. You watch the all-star game, the skills competition last night, the young players that are carrying the game and the speed and the skills. So uh, we're looking forward to it. I mean, in L.A., we're very solid right now. Been able to put winning products on the ice helps. Yeah. Well, and I think it also helps that the Jets are competitive and yeah. they're playing well and they're really making a move. It seems like there's more parity top to bottom in the league now. There sure is. You know, you, you don't. You used to be able to pick three or four teams that you knew would be in the Stanley Cup playoffs and, and, and be in the final kind of situation. Now it's uh, it's tough to get in the top eight in your division. Yeah, and I think guys like Patrick Waugh being behind the bench, yep. I think being a very public face of a franchise like the Avs, I yep. think that helps the league as well. Guys like you being involved in management, yep. that's got to be very good. I think so, and I think the knowledge, you know, Patrick's been around a long time, won a lot of cups, so he brings that knowledge to a young organization in Colorado. And, uh, you can see the support and things they had last year. Had a little bit of off season here so far, but they'll, they'll get things straightened around. There. What's the Hockey Hall of Fame mean to you? Uh, it, it, it's great, it, it, you know, an honor. But for me, it was more the the history of the game on display. Being able to walk out in front of all the the older Hall of Famers and, and, and you know a little overwhelming at the time, but now you get to sit back and enjoy it. Well, hey, great to see you. You look great. Thanks for your time. Thank you.